Hello, hello, hello. I'm Alucard Night Raven. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my next review, which is an upgrade review. Haven't done one of these in a while. Um, today we're looking at DNA Design DK40 upgrade kit for the Legacy Evolution Transmetal 2 Megatron. And here we can see the kit with typical box and bring it in. There you can see image up front of some parts of the kit dk40 transmetal 2 megatron upgrade kits dna design dk40 barcode bunch of words and stuff dk40 dk40 dna design and on the back everything that is included so yeah so I have opened this to take a look, however, I have not messed with any of this. I have not put it on, so we're going to do that together. So let's get it all out of the package, and we'll set the package off to the side. Of course, there's all our parts to it, and here we have our instructions. So there is all of that. And, yeah, quite a bit different to what we normally have. So, oh, and there's, oh, and there's more on the back. Well, here you can see, again, everything that's included. And then more on the back for everything else. So, yeah. Again, not bad. Not bad at all. I am going to be referring to the instructions while I do this. So let's see how well I do. <laughs> so pop this open. Take everything out. So here's the new chest for Dragon Mode, and it's on hinges. So it can. actually fold up in much better ways so yeah there is that so not really too bad I think it f officially goes this way yeah so. so there's that here's extension for the tail Again, very nice on that. You can get a longer tail and all that. Here we have a new hand with a movable finger. And it can still hold stuff. And also we've got uh, our rotation joint still. So, yeah, very nice on that. Here we've got our... our um, judge's wig <laughs> we've got different headpiece so instead of the uh, translucent orange it's a full painted red and we have three different heads so there's one with just a smirk well more of a not really a smirk um, a frown one with uh, anger and this one with a smile <laughs> there's all that and we do have a new screw for part of it so we'll get this out of the way and we shall bring in our megatron and let's see where should i start Let's see. Well, I think what I'll do is I'll start with this piece. Yeah, you can see. It's pretty much the same. 
same size and everything except for being able to fold up in an easier way so i think yeah we'll start with that so what we want to do first off is remove the screw That is a very long screw. Wow, yeah, that's a that's a very long screw. So with that out, we should be able to pop that out. I think what we're gonna have to do here. Should be able to pop that out. Can we? Maybe we can't. <laughs> okay, there's something specific about it. Okay, so we got two screws to undo here. So then we can separate the whole thing. Make sure I got a good grip on that screw. Okay, there we go. Don't need to pull that other screw all the way out, but now we can pull this out. And what we're gonna do here so we've got all this, we'll keep that separate for now. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna remove this screw. And I think we're gonna need the upgrade, updated screw for the new one. Whoop. So that will let us get that out. Push it from the other side. Come on, come on, there we go. So there's that. Bring this all the way up. And this, you just want to match up to where the screw went in. Put it in here. So we get that same effect as the original one had. And this is the one that's going to get the upgrade kit. Or the upgrade screw. And we'll take the old screw and just pop that in the bag. You just, I'm, I always like to save them. Just, it's so much easier just in case, like, I don't know, it just, I feel like uh, there's a better kit or something and I want to put the old parts back on, but DNA does really good kits. Except for there's a few that I've not been a fan of, but otherwise, for the most part, they're really good kits. So there's that. And this can go on right here like this. We'll just keep that like that. Put that off to the side. So now, since we got this off, we can work on the head. And with this, we're going to remove these two screws as well so there's one and there's two and with that Should be able to get it apart without any problems. Whoops. Let's move that now. Come on. Let's 
Yeah, it's in there pretty good. Oops. All right. So that's all of that. However, we do want to... Once I can get it out, we do want to keep this piece right here. It's got the eyes as part of it. So if we can get that out. There we go. So we want to keep that. This can go off to the side and you can see how all that went together. Yeah, we want to keep this piece. So this is going to just stay right here. And then we'll put the head back together like this with all of that. There's that, and I know it looks kind of funny without a head or anything, but now we'll put our screws back in. I think the magnet's wearing out on my screwdriver here. Put our screws back in. There's one. And then the second one. two I mean, yeah, without all that stuff in there I mean this is somewhat loose but honestly could be worse I'm I'm kind of hoping for one of the other upgrade uh, third-party upgrade kits to have something that's got like something like this you know with a better face that would just stay on better because i think there is an issue with the way this is and now we want to put this back on and this is going to go how i think this goes on so yeah this goes on like this so just like that and then we can slides in there doesn't it <laughs> yeah so yeah just put that in there and this can go in there just like that and then we can put screw it all back together well maybe it doesn't maybe I got it wrong okay I think I got it wrong For this one come on stay on the screw stay on the screwdriver there buddy okay let's just push it in there first all right there we go What 
the heck happened? Alright, what is going on here? Why did that do that? Maybe not. Okay. This is giving me problems. I don't know why. It's always easier to take apart than it is to put it back together, isn't it? <laughs> may have something to do with the way the head is situated so it's the only thing I can think of that is the problem so let me try something else here It is supposed to be exactly like this. Something is not wanting to go in there right, and I don't know what it is. But let's try it like this. Okay. What is the issue here? Those are all the same size. Should be in there just like that. All right, one moment. All right, I think I finally got it. My camera's getting all off center. It was just such a pain to get in there. Let's see if we can get it to stay in there. All right, 
There we go. That's going much better. Much, much better. <laughs> That one back tidied up. Now for this one tidied back up. All right. Yeah, then this can be folded up. We'll go over that in a bit. So yeah, there's all that. Now, <laughs> now we can bring it all back up and around how we originally had everything. And then you can see this sort of sits a little flatter. I've got everything in there right. <laughs> Head feels a little too loose now. I think I might have it backwards. But it trial and error, that's what it is. So but for now it'll work for what I'm gonna be doing for now. So now with all that on and yeah, so you can see this just folds up and sits a little more flush looks a bit better so now we can put a face on so with this what we do we just plug face in get it lined up of course come on man get lined up get lined up get lined up Uh, that's not working. <laughs> See, there's there's a post right here on the back. And I think it's got to plug in, like, down here. you got to get everything lined up just right. Really get it on there and get the eyes to come out. Yeah, that's not working out too well. Hmm. Let's try one of these other faces. All right, I can get one of the other faces on just fine. So, something off to take a look at. And then this piece, all we do is just. in there in some way nope. not like that there we go and there we go so there's a new face on one and yeah you can swap the faces out And also, this plugs in on this piece. We got the oh, <laughs> got the judge look going. <laughs> of course, let's see how he looks with that. A lot of the orange is a little more visible through the eyes, though. Now with this face, but there you can see the purple. I do kind of like though how that does kind of like it's lighten up around the purple so that is pretty cool so now next bit we'll do we want to remove these two screws let's 
so I'll be right back so yeah just remove these two screws so give me one minute all right so with those screws taken out now we can, should be able to separate it just like that take pull this hand out plug this hand in make sure it's going the same way as the other one was and then this goes back on same way and we just put those screws back together so I'll be right back all right so there's the new hand on and we can extend that finger out and of course he can still hold that so there we go there is that now the final bit and I gotta transform him into beast mode. I'm gonna remove this thing. And I'll get him transformed and be right back. All right, so we got him back in dragon mode. So I am seeing one issue that I've seen others have is like it just it doesn't plug in as tightly as the original, which I mean it lines up, but it's not as tight of a plug in, but it still looks good. You know, it's not bad. So hopefully they fix that on um, some other releases. So now we got his puny tail and we're going to fix that. And to do that, what we want to do I'm sort of lay him down. I'm going to rotate. Oh, which one? I think this one. Which one? This one. I think what we do is we just pop one of these pieces out. They look like they should pop out real easily. I could be wrong. Yeah, it's this one. Oh, all right. So pull that out. And with that out, we can. Oh, pull that apart now take this one and we want to pop this one out get this all popped in come on come on tight tight fit We'll get it. <laughs> I think it's just easier to go. Kind of like this. There we go. Now we'll plug, pop this one in. There we go. And then we pop these in. one and now he has a longer tail let's get him <laughs> let's get him kind of fixed here don't do that all right you working with me here dude there we go kind of <laughs> why are you at an angle all right there we go <laughs> but there we go there he has a longer tail so yeah pretty cool it's not bad of a kit there are a few things that are a little bit of an issue um i do recommend when uh, you're taking the taking apart like and you bring the head out pay more attention than i did on where some of that stuff goes because 
I have no idea which way it's supposed to go. So I'm going to have to look up a few things. Because as much as it's nice they give us these instructions, the black and white makes something so much harder to see. Yeah, they fill in some red, but not all the time. So some things are just so much more difficult to see. Like, you know, it should show us which way it's going to go. And it doesn't. And that is part of my issue. So I don't know if I have it a wrong way or what. Like, um, because I'm wondering if it's supposed to move up or down. I can't remember. It's been so long since I've transformed it. <laughs> but still, it is a pretty good kit in my opinion. It is definitely a must. Um, the heads aren't bad. I'm not a big fan of, you know, the the way they went about it. Um, I do like, you know, the judge piece out of that single episode being included. That is kind of cool. Um, you know, but it would be nice. It is nice to get out this face. I know some people didn't mind it, but most people weren't too happy with, with it. Me included. I have the original toy. I didn't want it to look like my original toy. I want it to look like exactly out of the show. So that is nice getting this with better faces. You know. Which definitely looks so much better. Um, do watch. You know make sure you're putting them on right. Um, I am going to try this one again because I'm not sure which face I want to go to. I might stick with the one I put on him. But, yeah. All in all, it is not too bad. Um, so, yeah, this with the with the new piece here, it is also going to hang down more when in robot mode. So there is that. So, you know, if you're not a big fan of that, I mean, it depends on which mode you keep them in i tend to go back and forth because transmetal 2 megatron is my absolute favorite design from all of beast wars so i always go back and forth between dragon mode and robot mode so having having a kit that works both ways and he just looks so much better with a proper tail like he looks so much more menacing so much more um well bigger <laughs> i guess that's the word i'm trying to come up with but yeah i do recommend it uh i think i got mine from big bad toy store uh, i believe they still have plenty in stock um so check there you know and uh, any other kits for dna design that they have i always recommend dna design um Go Better Studio is another good one. 115 Workshop for any of your figures. And yeah, so any upgrade kits, check Big Bad Toy Store. They're going to have a really uh, one of some of the best prices on it. Show Z, maybe. Um, I never, I haven't really checked Show Z for upgrade kits. Um, but TF Safari, that is another really good one that's going to have upgrade kits, filler kits, all that stuff. They're going to carry for most of the different third-party companies that have their filler kits um, other than like the single person people who ha do um do stuff like on shapeways so that's another place you could check see what shapeways um members offer for things that they've come up with now keep in mind that the filler kits from tf safari and the stuff from shapeways is going to be 3d printed so and sometimes the stuff from shapeways you may have to paint so there is that keep that in mind um tf safari the nice thing with them is they do it in with plastic from the 3d printer that is very close to the plastic used on the figure so as usual i recommend it you know, I mean, it sucks, yes, having to pay more for a filler kit and upgrade kit to make your figure look more like you want it to, like you would imagine it to. Um, but I also understand what Hasbro has to do 
because if they were to do like do it the way like they i'm sure they would prefer to the price of the figures are going to go up even more and you, we already are not happy as a group of collectors with the prices as they are um, so it is unfortunate prices do continue to climb it does suck but sometimes going this route really really helps the figure like in this case like i i love that longer tail for one thing i love the the faces they're so much better um i the little head piece the red piece um i have noticed in other reviewers that there's the fit on rather loosely mine seems to fit pretty tight so it does look like it will change depending so yeah so again big bad toy store tf safari always recommend those two sites for upgrade kits and for tf safari filler kits so there you go <laughs> so that's going to be it for me i want to say thank you for watching please like comment subscribe and i'll see you all later actually real quick before i forget so i was looking more at the old hand which the new one's in there it didn't have a wrist swivel the new one does so real quick update before i fully go to let everybody know you do get a swivel hand now instead of it not move swiveling at all so or wrist swivel so very happy for the added articulation as well again <laughs> that's it for me <laughs> see you later